Hello, and welcome to this edition of Your Questions Answered with Father Gruner. I'm John Veneri. We take your questions that you send to us via email. Our Father Gruner answers them. We discuss them. Continue to send these questions to us at questions at thefatimacenter.com. We have, a letter, we have a question today about Our Lady of Good Success. I recently read a small book on Our Lady of Good Success. It seems Our Lady appeared to one Mother Mariana Frances, uh, Francisca de Jesus Torres, 1563 to 1635, under the title of Our Lady of Good Success. Our Lady, according to this author, predicted the problems of the church in the 20th century. Do you know anything about these apparitions? And the book claims that this, these uh, visions were appro approved by the church. Well, yes, yeah, so I've certainly heard of the Our Lady of Good Success. It's in, uh, in Ecuador, in Quito, and certainly uh, some of the prophecies have come true already, maybe a lot of them. And yes. it certainly talks, of, it certainly, I think it, among other things, described the, the, uh, the assassination of, of uh, Gabriel Moreno. The 19th century, uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, a very, the, very Catholic leader of, yeah, of that country. I believe the first, uh, the first uh, vision uh, of Our Lady, or message of Our Lady, was February 2nd, uh, 1610 and uh, for a few years after that. But she did talk about the fact that in Ecuador there would be a truly Catholic president yes. in the 19th century and he would be assassinated. Yes. And I don't know if she mentioned a sect or she used the term Freemasons, but she, but it was very pointed towards Freemasonry. Well, in fact, from what I understand of this, uh, this uh, Lady of Good Success Prophecies talks about the, the Freemasons over and over again. Mm -hmm. and, that, uh, and so it talks about our time, certainly. And, uh, she and predicted in the 19th century there would be the definition of the dogma of the, of, the, of the Immaculate Conception and that the Pope who defined this dogma would, be, would have to go into a kind of, um, she didn't use the term prisoner in the Vatican, but that type of term because of the rise of the enemies in the church. She talked about, uh, again in this uh, 1610, around that time, predicting that uh, the doctrine of the Assumption would be defined after a great bloodbath. And that's exactly what happened. It was after World War II. Yes. And she also, uh, which really, you know, which really uh, speaks to us right now, is she talks about the rise of great heresies in the 20th century within the church. Yes. So certainly, uh, you know, these, this has been an improved apparition. Yes. And I would encourage people to read about it. And certainly, I know that John Salsa, and perhaps we, perhaps we can make it available to our well, viewers. We, we, the, we, John, we, we, we just a talk a, on, on, just, on the third secret and the message of Quito, okay, yes, uh, of, of really good success, and, and, and the, the parallels between them. And uh, so I know that there's a, a lot there for, um, you know, and that, uh, I think it's, it's one of the, Our Lady's improved apparitions. It certainly tells us something. There's, there's well, the details are amazing. I mean, yeah. it, talks about the, um, uh, it talks about the profanation of the Eucharist. It talks about the profanation. I mean, this is very, you know, specifically said, the profanation of the sacrament of matrimony. Now, what do we have now, especially with so-called same-sex marriage and things like oh. that? I mean, if that's not a profanation, well, I mean, if we profanation has lost the... the I mean, even, the, the, you know, even the Anglicans for, forbade divorce until yes. 1930. Yes. So, you know, even the Anglicans, so considering that, I mean, how far we've gone from 1930 to, to, you know, to now, and, you know, but, so just think of how far we've gone since 1630, it's 300 years, and I mean, marriage is often profaned by the institution of of divorce. One divorce is a profanation of it, but this is institution which is widely accepted. Mm -hmm. You've got also the, the profanation of marriage with contraception. I mean, the pill was only invited, in, invented in 1960 or thereabouts. Mm -hmm. I mean, there was other devices of contraception, but it's so widespread today. That, I mean, so marriage is, is profaned by divorce, profaned by contraception, and profaned, of course, <laughs> the ultimate profanation, so-called marriage between a man and a man or a woman and a woman, which is, which is it's a contradiction in terms, but it's certainly putting under the, under the umbrella of, of marriage is a profanation of the, of, the, of the whole thing. And she also uh, warned against in the 20th century, she said that the atmosphere will be saturated with sins of impurity. Now that's an incredible prediction because that just drive down the road and you're hit with the billboards and 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 what the the music on the radio and everywhere you go, to the point she talked about of the destruction of the innocence of children. Yes. The result being that there will be no more virtue. You know, there there be so few virgin souls that there this will affect the priesthood because vocations will be destroyed by this impurity and we will not have the young men with a pure mindset. 
uh, living pure lives that could that could be called to the priesthood. And for that matter, young vir virgins, women, yeah. to offer their yeah. lives and sacrifices. Yes, and but she did specifically mention yeah. this in relationship to the priesthood. Um, and, but for, and, and what I'm saying, and, for they, and they, they by would extension, also, uh, they, yeah. they would be praying. I mean, I think that as Saint Teresa of Lisieux said, you know, she discovered her vocation was to be of the heart. And of course, I'm sure that if she herself was having six different priests right into her. She took them on her, their spiritual sisters, so mm -hmm. to speak, and no doubt they advanced in holiness because of her prayers from the convent. She, uh, Our Lady of uh, Quito said, I have that here, it says, priests will abandon their sacred duties and will depart from the path marked out for them by God. Disastrous time will come unexpectedly in which by darkening their clarity of vision, those who are bound in justice to defend the right of the church without servile fear or human, res uh, human respect will extend their hands to the enemies of the church to do what the latter will. Now she predicted that yeah. in 1610, and this is exactly what we're going through yeah. now. But it is a message of hope too, because she also said, when everything appears to be lost, that is when her triumph will come. So it wasn't just uh, you know, uh, a prophecy of gloom. Yes. Uh, there will be a restoration of the church, and I'm sure it is tied to of the consecration of Russia, because mm -hmm. that's, you know, we could just deal with the second one here, the how it relates to the to the Fatima message. Sure, go that ahead. there is a very strong relation because, particularly in regard to the crisis of faith, and also the fact that there will be this great conversion and triumph of the Immaculate Heart through the Pope doing that really you know simple act that he's been asked to do. Yeah, well, I mean, as, as you know, the God makes it wants a simple God wants. God wants the world to see that it's through the merits of the Blessed Virgin. So if he had us all doing penance, you know, as he has a right to, to ask, you know, fast and bread and water for the whole year before I give you the, the conversion of Russia. And, you know, fast and bread and water, and, you know, except for those who are sick, I mean, he could ask for it. I mean, it's, it's perfectly legitimate. Uh, you know, as long as you can order, even do it for a month, or even do it for 10 days. He doesn't ask anything. He just asks for the Pope and the bishops to say this simple prayer Five-minute yeah, prayer. Yeah, five-minute prayer. And, I'll, and uh, I'll say, I, by my apostolic authority, as bishop and the pope, as pope, consecrates this nation, Russia, to the Immaculate Heart of Mary. By doing that simple prayer and all of them together, you know, we're going to have world peace. Yeah. God wants everyone to recognize that this grace of conversion and this grace of world peace comes about through the merits of the Immaculate Heart of Mary. It's not, it's not because of our work is not because of our, they're such good guys. It's simply because Our Lady's heart is so good and so uh, loyal to God and so uh, uh, and so um, obedient to God and giving everything that she could give to God. And she's that, that God wants to give her this recognition. And I think too that uh, uh, this uh, triumph of the Immaculate Heart necessarily means um, an end to this colossal crisis of faith that we have. Because how could Our Lady's how can we say that Our Lady's triumph in the Immaculate Heart if the church is in still a tremendous mm. amount of chaos, yeah. which also was predicted, as we spoke about in the last program, mm. uh, yeah. in the Fatima message by means of the secret. Yes. But all, all of this, so certainly to, to understand more about Fatima and what's coming up in the future, by all means, read up on this on this subject here. Uh, the um, There is a relationship between that and Fatima, and I, I do think that there's things in the Fatima secret which are spoken of by... As, as John Salsa has pointed out, but I also think there's things in the Fatima Secret that you'll only find in the Fatima yes, Secret yes. for our time. And uh, so that's what, uh, uh, I, I would certainly encourage people to read it, but that doesn't mean all the interpretations given to all the prophecies, or all the writings are necessarily agreed with, but the apparition itself or the words of Our Lady herself, I would, yes, I would encourage very, people. Very, very, uh, very strong evidence that uh, this, is a, this, is, this really happened, Our Lady really said these things, to, uh, to, uh, to the Mariana, to Mother, Mother Mariana. Mariana. So anyway, so thank you, and uh, we will see you in the next program.